I need your divine protection, O Lord, in order for me to talk to my wife. I need your divine protection, O Father, in order for me to talk to my husband. I need your divine protection, O Father, when I bring all oh, my grievances, O Lord, oh, to my spirit. Here is at my job. I need your divine protection, O oh Lord, to guide the Father, to guide me, O oh Lord. I need your divine protection this very moment, O oh Father, as I bring my grievances, O oh Lord. Oh, yes, somebody among us. Oh, you have grievances oh, over your job situation. You've been thinking about how. How I, am I going to present this that it will not affect my employment? How am I going to present this that it will not affect my paycheck? How am I going to present this to my supervisor? And my supervisor will relate it to my manager. How am I going to do this that it will not affect my paycheck? Oh, I pray this moment with you. I stand with you this very moment that God grants you the ultimate divine protection that God grant you the divine protection as you make your presentation unto your superiors that God and lead you give them the exact word to say the exact words to say I pray with you this very moment that God grants you that divine protection that your paycheck will not be affected that what what has been your resource that God has provided or to use or to provide for you will not be a victim of what is going on. Oh God of glory, I stand before you this very moment, O oh Lord, and we come before you, O oh Father, that you grant us with divine protection this moment in our life in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord. We come before you this hour, O oh Lord, that you grant us, O oh Lord, with a deed divine protection that comes from you alone in the name of Jesus the Father. Oh, we ask for divine protection today. Oh, this is our prayer today. That we ask God for divine protection. That we ask God for divine protection over every segment of our lives. Over every aspect of our being. Over every aspect of our abilities. That we ask God for divine protection today. That as we go through the day today, as we weigh, we make our way oh, through the busyness of the day today, that God <coughs> grant us the needed divine protection that the enemy wouldn't have access to what God has granted us with it. Oh, God has given you something that you need to guide it. God has endowed you with something that you need to to protect but it takes the divine protection from the God oh to have that make to, 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 to bring it to pass in the name of Jesus oh it is not going to be protected just because you have physical securities and the means of what can bring comfort to your heart. I pray this moment that you know whatever that is in your home, at your job, in your marriage, in your relationship, and you bring it to God this very moment. Say, God, I need your divine protection over what you have given me. I need your divine protection this very moment, O Father. I need your divine protection, o Lord. I don't want to lose what you have given me, O Father. If that means that it's your heart, you ask God, protect me, O Lord. Oh, I need your divine protection, O Lord over my life this moment in the name of Jesus, O oh Father. I want my heart to be pure before you, O oh Lord. I want the righteousness that you have imputed in me, O oh Lord, oh, to stay pure, O oh Lord. And without your divine protection, O oh Lord, O oh Father, I'll compromise, O oh Lord. I was on the verge of compromisation. I was on the verge of slipping away. I was on the verge of walking away. I was on the verge of Oh, Father, doing A or B, God of glory. Oh, therefore, I need your divine protection. I need your divine protection, oh, Father, like never before, oh, Lord. I don't remember the day I have come to you to ask you to grant me, oh, divine protection. Therefore, this day, oh, Lord, I had you, oh, Lord. Oh, you brought it to my attention. Therefore, grant me that divine protection, oh, Father. I don't want to lose you, oh, Lord. I don't want to lose myself, oh, Lord. I need that divine protection, 
worship, oh Lord. I don't want to go back to what I used to be. I don't want to transgress oh, into what I used to do, oh Lord. Therefore, I need your divine protection, oh Lord. I don't want to go to the boss anymore, oh Lord, now that I'm born again, oh Father. I don't want to be listening to those things anymore, but I know that I don't have what it takes in me, oh Lord. But therefore, I need your divine protection, oh Father. I don't need to have that friend anymore, oh Father, but I don't have the willpower to do it, oh Lord. And therefore, I need your divine protection, oh Father. Oh God of glory, I don't want to take that step like I have done down in the past, O oh Lord, O oh Father, but I don't have the power, I don't have the will, O oh Father, to say no, therefore I need your divine protection, O oh Lord, O oh God, I know that, O oh Father, I am not supposed to be listening to that kind of conversation, but I don't have the willpower to say no, therefore I need your divine protection, O oh Lord, O oh, this moment, O oh Father, I come before you, grant me your divine protection, O oh, divine protection, O oh Lord, uh, that I can I have the ability to say no when it is necessary, O oh Lord, O oh God of glory, that friend of mine, I know that, O oh Father, since I become born again, O oh Lord, I know he has been my friend, O oh Father. Oh, but what I hear, oh, I, I constantly hear from her, O oh Lord, doesn't bring any edification, O oh Father, doesn't add anything to my spirituality, doesn't add anything to my lifestyle in you, O oh Lord, but it seems that I, I lack the willpower, O oh Lord, oh, to say no and to walk away, therefore I need your divine protection, O oh Lord, I need your divine protection over my ears, O oh Lord, I need your divine protection this very moment, O oh Father, oh, to say no, O oh Lord, God of glory. I call on your name, saints. I wanted to call. When I say I call on your name, that means you say the same thing. I call on your name this very moment, O oh Father, my heavenly Father, my daddy. I am calling on your name this day, O oh, for your divine protection over my life, because your word says your ears are open to my cry. Your ears are open to every word that comes out of me. Your ears, oh, your ears are open to me because you say your eyes are upon me, because you say your eyes are upon me and therefore your ears are open to my cry oh therefore i know that you are hearing me god of glory i know that you can listen to my cry i know that even the words that are, are yet to be authored oh father that are deep down in my heart i know you can hear them too oh father i need divine protection oh lord i need your divine protection oh father in this year like never before oh lord your my i need your divine protection O oh Lord, like never before in my life, O oh Lord. This is what the book says at Psalm 1. This is what it says. It says, Blessed is the one who does not walk and step with the wicked or stand in a way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers. This is why we need a divine protection. Verse 2 says, But whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. Oh, it takes God's divine protection for us to keep our minds on his law, statutes, and ordinances. It takes the divine protection of the Lord to guide and protect us. Oh, to stay in His, to stay on His word and continue to believe without losing heart. This is why we are praying for divine protection this day. This is why we are calling on God this morning for divine protection. Because we do not want to, we want to be blessed because we do not want to walk in a step with the wicked. Or stand in a way that sinners take or sit in a company of mockers. This is why we are asking God for divine protection over our ears. That those who mock our daddy, those who mock our work of God, that God will give us the ability 
It takes divine protection. To say no. When you know that is going to hurt the individual. It takes divine protection. To walk away and know that you are not going to be hurt. You are not going to be injured. It takes divine protection. God, we are come before you. Grant us this divine protection today, O oh Father. Oh, to be able to do the things that we want to do for the glorification of your name. Oh, give us a divine protection, O oh Lord, today, O oh Father. To be able to walk boldly, O oh Lord, in the things of righteousness. In the things of holiness, O oh Lord, we need your divine protection today, O oh Father. Oh, to be able to declare, oh, your word, O oh Lord. We need your divine protection today, O oh Father, over our lives, Lord, to do what you have called us to do, O oh Father. We need divine protection today, O oh Father. Oh, Father, to maintain our marriages, O oh Lord. We need divine protection today, O oh Father. Oh, to, to bring up our children oh father we need divine protection oh lord to do what you called us to do oh lord we need your divine protection today oh lord in every spectrum oh father of our lives oh lord we need your divine protection today oh lord in every fiber of our being we need divine protection today oh lord that we do not offer us members of our bodies oh father oh father in frivolous things oh lord we need divine protection today oh lord that we do not offer, O Lord, the members of our bodies, O Father, or to compromise your holiness, O Lord. We need divine protection today, O Father. The Bible says in Psalm 1 verse 3, that person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do, prospers. We need divine protection today. God of glory, we ask for you for divine protection in our lives. Because we refuse to sit. Oh, in the seat of markers, those who mark your name. Because we want to stay prosperous. We want to stay successful. We want to remain prosperous and successful, O oh Lord. Therefore, we need your divine protection, O oh Lord. The Bible says in verse 4, Now so with the wicked, they are like chaff, that the wind blows away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. Yes, the sinners have no company in the assembly of the righteous. This is why we ask God to grant us divine protection today. Father, grant us protect, divine protection today, O oh Lord. So when that sinner, when that marker, when that individual who ridicules us, O oh Lord, come into our midst, O oh Lord, we need your divine protection, O oh Father. Divine protection, O oh Lord, from the wicked ways of this world, O oh Lord. We need your divine protection like never before in our lives, O oh Father. Saints, call on your daddy this very moment. You know what it is in your life. You know what it is in your life. Ask him to grant you divine protection over what seems to be slipping away. What seems to be getting away from your grips. Ask him this very moment to give you that divine protection. So you stay and remain successful and prosperous. In that which he has given you. It is going to take his divine protection. To maintain your holiness. To maintain your walk of righteousness. To maintain oh. A tremendous strength of exemplifying who he has now made you to be. Ask him for that divine protection. Ask him to grant you that divine protection. Ask him to grant you that divine protection. Just as he was to the Israelites. As a pillar of cloud during the day. 
as he was with the Israelites, like, like a pillar of fire during the night, asking for that divine protection. <clears throat> that was a divine protection. Protected them from the wiles of the beasts during the day. From unnecessary or, or poisonous snakes during the day. That divine protection was there. Ask him to grant the same divine protection because his word says, You are in him. The new covenant is better than that of the old covenant because the new covenant was not the blood of bulls and animals. By the blood of God of heaven himself. <clears throat> the God of heaven himself. Blood. Has purchased. And cleansed. Asked him for divine protection to stay. And remain in the faith. Asked him for divine protection. To be stable. Asked God for divine protection. To be established. And in your establishment, ask him for divine protection to abound. As God, this very moment, say, God, I am now be, ha, have been established in you. I ask for your divine protection. Grant me with your divine protection to abound so I can prosper, to abound so I can be successful, to abound. Oh, as God, the Father, now that you have established me in you through Jesus Christ in the power of the blood and with the purification of the Holy Spirit, now that I have been established in you, now that my establishment <clears throat> isn't in my knowledge, my abilities, my capabilities, my possessions, now that my establish, my establishment is in you, I ask for you to grant me divine protection to abound. I ask you, God, to grant me with divine protection, oh, to be fruitful. I ask you, oh, God, to grant me with that divine protection, oh, to be fruitful. I ask you, oh, Lord, grant me with the divine protection. Oh, Father, to abound. I ask you this moment, oh, Father, to grant me with divine protection. Oh, Father, oh, to be fruitful. I ask you this moment with divine protection. Oh, yes, you are repeating it, but it is worth repeating. Oh, yes, Jesus, verily, verily, oh, me, you meant to say, Lord, Lord, I am meant that I need this divine protection in my life. Verse 6 of Psalm 1 says, For the Lord washes over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. You need divine protection in the Lord. So you do not follow that friend, family member, that colleague of yours who will lead you to destruction. You need divine protection. So your mind is stable. You need divine protection so your heart is pure. You need divine protection so your lips, your mouth, and your tongue offer things of edification. You need divine protection. Oh, in God, in this very moment, that you have the ability to say it when it is necessary. You need divine protection to do that. Therefore, today, our prayer had being divine protection in the Lord. God of all majesty, God of all glory, we want to thank you today. I thank you for each and every individual in these wee hours of the day, in these early moments of the day, that they have started their day with you not just on their minds but physically mentally spiritually emotionally started this day with you in prayer 
Lord, we have petitioned you for divine protection. We have requested for divine protection. Father, grant each and every individual. May their requests be manifested, O Lord, in every situation and every circumstance. May their request this day, O Lord, be manifested, O Father, in the fruits that it produces, O Lord. May their request that you have granted them today, O Father, stay with them, O Lord. Saints, the enemy is very cunning. You're going to leave the prayer line today. And he's going to be whispering to your ears. Remind yourself that your ears are divinely protected from the whispering of the voice of the enemy. You're going to leave the prayer line today. In the cunningness of the enemy. You pick up your phone, open your computer, pick up your iPad, and you open it up, and your eyes just zoom on nudity. Remind yourself that God this morning, I have asked you for divine protection over my eyesight. Therefore, this is not my portion. You're going to leave the prayer line today. You're going to go about your daily activities. And the enemy is going to whisper to you. And give you that voice of doubt. Remind yourself to God this morning. Your minister, Pastor Sam, your servant, Henry, your servant, through whom you have spoken today to me. You have granted me divine protection. From the whispering. Deceptive ways of the enemy. Therefore I will no longer learn my listening ear. To the deceptive ways of the enemy. My ears are protected divinely. I can only hear the voice of righteousness. I can only hear the voice of encouragement. I can only hear the voice of peace. I can only hear the voice of it is well with me. I can only hear the voice that it is okay with me. I can only hear the voice that you are not only in control but in charge of every aspect of my life you're going to leave the prayer line today and the enemy is going to touch your heart bitterness say Lord I remember this morning I spent time with you in prayer this morning and the topic of the prayer today was divine protection I believe that my heart is guarded divinely by your presence. Therefore, bitterness and anything that comes with it is not part of this. Because my heart is pure. My heart is divinely protected. Therefore, it is righteous. My heart is divinely protected. That, therefore, it is peaceful. Saints, you are going to leave the prayer line today. And the enemy is going to come to you. I want you to remind the enemy of Mark eleven twenty four. Of Mark eleven twenty four, Remind the enemy of these words. Remind the enemy. Therefore, I tell you, remind the enemy that Jesus said to me that whatever I ask in prayer, and believe that I have received it. It is mine. 
I want you to personalize that and remind the enemy that is your weapon. That is the sword of the spirit. The word of God combat the enemy against the prayer today. The protection, that divine protection. You are petitioning God for according to his word in Mark 11, 24. I'm reading from the NIV. So therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received. <clears throat> Meaning the very moment, the material moment, we are petitioning God for divine protection over the various areas of our lives. In that very moment, you have received. So believe that it has already happened and it will be yours. I want to leave that with you today. Thank God for his divine protection over your life today. Whatever you do, be vigilant. God richly bless you.